This is the Tranquility. It's another model home at the factory. This is a three bedroom, two bath house, 712 roof pitch. You see that steep, handsome roof pitch. It has a design feature on the front. You can get it any way you want, but this has shake on it, batten, batten board, and vinyl. But you don't have to do it that way. You also got lineals around the windows. These are Anderson windows. It looks really cool with the four windows lined up in the front when you're inside the house. Let's go in and take a quick tour. So I can show you this house also. It's a great option for somebody. Again, 1,760 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths. This has a, this one has for display purposes, this is a display house, so it has an optional entertainment wall in here with some sliding doors. I'll show it to you while since we're in here, see it has these sliding barn doors that you know change from all the way from one side to another. <coughs> Man, I got too much dust from the factory. But anyways, but here you got you got one, two, three, four windows across the front again. This is your living room. As you walk into here. This is your laundry room. This has, again, for display purposes, has the pet shower in it. And can you just see Cookie getting in there? I can tell you she wouldn't be happy. <laughs> she wouldn't be happy with that. Anyways, here's where your, shower, uh, where your washer and dryer go. Single valve shut off for the whole house. Your rear door that has a glass, glass rear door for your house. Very heavy door. Out your laundry room. There, get that thing locked back up. Now I'm gonna bring you into the dining room, which is really a neat area. This has a wall feature in the dining room. See the wood look? Isn't that neat? Got a barn door feature to it, optional. Got this wood look feature to it, to the wall structure. Kind of gives it a farmhouse feel inside. Um, this one has a rear sliding door out the dining room. It's got windows here, windows here. If you haven't noticed, the factory takes a lot of pride in putting windows in their houses. A lot of windows, brings light in the house, brings an open feel to it. Here's your kitchen. Again, we have different versions of this kitchen, but this one has the microwave in the wall, built out the wall, or you can do the microwave over the stove. This one has the vented uh, flute instead because you don't have the microwave built there. This also has an optional <coughs> restaurant style kitchen sink. This is, this probably, probably have to take a YouTube class on how to use this, but <laughs> it is a feature that's available or you can do a regular stainless deep sink or you can do a farm sink whatnot nice big pull down faucet you got your washer dryer here what we're going to do is we're going to walk from here into one side of the house which is where you've got your second bath and 36 inch sink cabinets marsh flat cabinets and then you've got your uh, toilet, and then you got your tub shower combo. Again, kind of giving you some space, but to put stuff. And uh, you know, sorry, I should turn the lights on to the subject, shouldn't I? Anyways, notice your big moldings at the top. It's really nice. Your tile backsplash. This house really looks nice. We'll go over here. Um, this has also a different version of the levered handle. See this, a big thick version lever handle. This is bedroom two. This has the, inside it has the optional pull down stairs to go up into the attic. Since this is a 712 roof pitch house, you can stand up in that attic. Again, LED can light in the middle of the bedroom. 
uh, walk-in closet right here. And uh, we got a little light in here so you can actually see. And then we go across the hall to bedroom three. And you got the same type of closet in the corner. It's really kind of cool how that closet's done, to be honest with you. Gives you a little place. Look at that for your for your computer desk, for your next student going off to college, getting ready to study. This would be a perfect room. Got that study area right there. And again, you got your big closet. Now what we're going to do is walk back through the kitchen, back through this dining room with your nice rustic look, back through the living room, back through the foyer, into the master bedroom. Now this master bedroom again carries on the concept of the large, um, your large moldings, large baseboards. This is actually a pretty deep master bedroom. See how we've got a couch in this one, on the, in this display one. I mean, there's, this is a very deep bedroom. This has an optional built-in for for the master closet. I mean, this is a huge walk-in closet. So this has an optional built-in, or you can just do the regular racks. Doesn't really matter. I'll give you a quick look through, um, so you can kind of see. But it is a deep closet. One way or another, you got a huge walk-in closet. And then last, you have the master bath. This master bath has again two 36-inch tall cabinets and um, a makeup counter in between can lights over the sinks and then you've got uh, an optional standalone tub and then a shower 48 inch fiberglass shower pantry oh you need hey look it even comes with even comes with the towels <laughs> and then um, this has a really cool looking optional sh shower if you wanted it, but um, it's got the wand right there and it's got an overhead shower. That's an optional thing too. Those are pretty cool. I don't think I even know how to use one. There's a couple things in this house I don't know how to use. I don't know how to use the, the sink <laughs> in the kitchen and I don't know how to use the shower. I might, I might need some help. Anyways, um, this is the Tranquility, it's a beautiful house, quiet, 2x6 sidewalls of course, 2x4 interior built walls. This, these houses are built above and beyond the standards of most of the houses that you are seeing out in the marketplace. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, let us know. Thank you very much.